So hi everyone, welcome back to data science in your pocket. We have a big news coming in where Google has released a new multi AI agent framework. That's correct. It's their first framework called as the AI co-scientist. So basically the framework is more towards research and development purposes and it has a number of agents presented. So let's get started. Let's try to understand the framework and the paper that the team has released. So as you can see, we introduced AI co-scientist, a multi-agent AI system built with Gemini 2.0. This is important. As a virtual scientific collaborator to help scientists generate novel hypotheses and research proposals. So this is very, very specific to research scientists and to accelerate the clock speed of scientific and biomedical discovery. I think this is very important because uh, they are now trying to push out on research. Specifically, this is how the framework looks like as you can see here. So basically it is a pool of multiple agents, generation agent, review agent, ranking agent, evaluation agent, which then leads to a ideation board where the ideation are ranked and then gives you a final board. As you can see here, we will be now discussing out this particular architecture. As you can see, scientists, this is the entire workflow of the framework. The scientist interacts with the system by specifying research goal in natural language. This is basically the prompt they're talking about. Discusses via chat interface. Research proposals and overview, top ranked research hypotheses and proposals are summarized into a research overview shared with the scientists. And scientist input, so research goal, add idea, review idea, discuss idea. So the scientist is also interacting with the system continuously. Now here comes the main crux of the entire ecosystem. Here you can see it is providing multiple agents, generate, generation agent, reflection agent, evolution agent, proximity check agent, meta review agent, ranking agent tournament and research plan configuration. So we will be talking about all these agents uh, in quite some while. Once all these agents combine together and get to a final solution, the AI co-scientist continuously generates reviews, debates and improve research hypothesis. And it also uses tools like internet search, additional tools and they have memory as well. The framework is looking quite uh, complex and looking very interesting as well. Here is the entire flow you can see here. The scientist starts off with the research goal went through the configuration and the supervisor agent that is the manager manages these six agents. I will be talking about what is the role of each agent soon. From here, the scientist is also providing his feedback and then there is a context memory also for the evolution agent. I will be telling you why this is getting used. So the framework looks to be a killer for research and I hope this becomes open source soon. Now coming to the understanding of the different agents that the team has mentioned. Generation agent creates initial hypothesis and research proposals. Reflection agent reviews and critiques the hypothesis. So basically more of a generation and reflection agent are fighting with each other. Ranking agent is very important because it is the one which is ranking the new hypothesis ideas. The last board that we saw into the video. Proximity agent identifies similarities between hypothesis to avoid redundancy. Evolution re refines and improves existing hypothesis. Meta review synthesizes feedback from other agents and generates a comprehensive research overview. Supervisor is the manager. So these are the six agents that the supervisor is handling and all of them in one way or the other are trying to improve on the hypothesis that is generated. So now talking about the entire flow, the scientist starts by providing a research goal. The supervisor agent takes over and assign tasks to different workers, keeping track of the research overview. The context memory, as I showed in the diagram, stores information about the research context and previous findings. The workers carry out the task assigned by the supervisor using the research overview guidance. The scientists can provide additional feedback also. So basically it can also interact with the system. So it's more of a human in loop sort of a system. The system is looking to be a killer. I would be sharing with you after I re uh, read the paper in detail about the different aspects of it. But for now, as you can see the summary, the system uses a generate debate and evolve approach inspired by scientific methods. So it generates, it talks over the problem debates over them and then improvises on it. It em employs a self-play based scientific debate and tournament-based tournament based ranking. The system scales time, test time compute to enhance reasoning and hypothesis quality over time. Interaction with scientists as mentioned, it can also interact with the scientists at times uh, in terms of natural language and the scientists can provide feedback also. Multiple tools are also getting used like web search is there. It can have access to databases, literature also. And it is a self-improving system. This is the best part. The system uses an ELO auto-evaluation metric. So if you don't know the ELO rating system, 
It is a method for calculating relative skill levels of player in competitive games like chess. The player lose points based on the outcome of the matches. So how ELO automation uh, auto evaluation system works? The hypotheses are generated and ranked in a tournament system. The ranking agent simulates debate to determine the better hypothesis based on the criteria like novelty and correctness. So basically the ranking agent is picking out for example two hypotheses at a time and then trying to compare them. So basically internally a debate is going on which topic is better and then winners will get a ELO point the loser will lose points and like this the uh, idea with the most ELO points would be uh, on the top of the ranking. Now talking about certain matrices that the team has shared the stacked ranking and the average ranking rank of one indicates the top as you can see here in case of stacked ranking the novelty rating is 3.64 and impact rating is 3.09 as you can follow the legend here and which is high for both AI co-scientists especially the novelty rating which is the highest compared to Gemini 2.0 flash thinking Gemini 2.0 pro and open AI oven as well so this is looking crazy apart from that the average ranking is quite low compared to the other models indicating that it is preferred by experts so if it is lower that means that it is the resolutions are not getting uh, picked up by the experts so basically it is a little poor in terms of average rating compared to the other models but still the framework looks a fire to me given the entire framework the number of agents they are using and the entire process i hope this uh, framework becomes uh, open source quite soon and we are able to play around with it for our research purposes as well Thank you so much.